start recording, but welcome to Tabata Blast, just a way to kick off, um, I guess, end the 2020 and kick off the new year. So you just need one dumbbell, um, a mat is optional, and we'll get started with the warm up. So we're going to begin with a squat and reach per usual. So nice wide stance, and we'll gently just squat down and then reach right overhead, stretching out the shoulder, stretching out the chest with that reach. And just getting as low as comfortable with that squat. You can kind of take your time working into it here. And of course, taking nice deep breaths. Continue on here. Just gonna scooch myself a little bit closer. On. Get about 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one, good. And we'll bring arms out to a T. Keep our wide stance going to windmill toe touches. So we'll just hinge down to reach towards the knee or shin or toes and lift ourselves back up. And just going as low as comfortable and working into that hamstring stretch, low back stretch. And of course, stretching out the shoulders and chest even more as we reach that arm back. Just nice and slow, smooth movement. Got about 10 more seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Good. Mixing things up a little bit, we're going to go for some inchworms. So for inchworms, we're going to be hinging down, bringing the hands to the ground, walking our way out to a high plank, and then we'll walk our way right back up to standing. We'll begin here. You can jump in whenever you're ready. There's no rush with this. Just further working on stretching out the hamstrings, waking up the shoulders, waking up the core. You can take as much of a bend in the knees as you need to as you make your way down towards your mat. So you can see I have a pretty generous bend with those tight hamstrings. Good. We'll get about 10 more seconds. Let's try to get at least one more. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Good job. You can make your way back to standing. We'll wrap it up with some jumping jacks, either the top to the side, low impact, or you can jump out in classic jumping jack. Spend about 20 seconds here, starting to bring warmth to the body, increase the heart rate, get ready to move because we do have a fast paced class today. Going out with a bang. Not too much left here. Last five, four, three, two, one, and we'll shake it out. All righty, so we have three sets, four exercises in each set, and Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So it's short burst, short rest, and we'll just kind of fly right through. So we'll go through each set three times, continuous. But if you do need additional breaks, feel free to take them and jump back in when you're ready. Um, you can always grab water and do what, do what you need, you're flexible. But first exercise we have is a push jack. So you can go ahead and just grab your dumbbell. And push jack, we have low impact option, tapping out as we just press that weight overhead. Or we have the high impact jumping out, jumping back with that press. From there, we have a narrow to wide, either step, option one, or hop, option two. And we're just holding that weight right at the chest. We'll finish up with knee repeaters, option of a weight or no weight. We'll begin with the right leg, just pulling that weight down towards the knee, or again, same motion without a weight, and then we'll just switch sides. So those are our four. I'll call them out as we go, but I wanted to give you a little precursor so you knew what was going on. But with all that said, we'll start with push jacks. 20 seconds of work, you can pick up your dumbbell. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go, push jacks. Neither tapping or full jack. 10 more seconds. 
Keep pushing here, last five, four, three, two, one, 10 second break. We'll get ready for our narrow two wide steps or hops in four, three, two, one. Here we go. So it's holding that weight at the chest and we'll step it out wide and narrow, or you can go for that gentle hop landing softly. 10 seconds, we'll sink a little bit lower, good. Last five, four, three, two, one. You can stand it up, shake it out. Moving to knee repeaters, we'll start with the right leg. You can start to set up here in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And if you have a weight, just pulling it down straight towards the knee. You can also do this with no weight. It's working to stay nice and low in that right leg. Keep using those arms. Last four, three, two, one. Time flies. We'll shake it out. Get ready for that left side. If you used a weight, try to use it on this side too. We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. And just pulling down strong. Staying nice and low in that left leg. There we go. Keep driving that knee. Home stretch. Here's three, two, one, and we'll shake it out. We're back to the top. Push jacks coming up next. In five, four, three, two, one. Push jacks, 20 seconds. Whatever option you choose, we're just moving as quick as we can while controlling your weight. Go, keep it up. Last three, two, one, and 10 seconds to rest. We have our narrow to wide steps or jumps next. In three, two, one, here we go, nice and low. And if you are stepping out, I'll challenge you to lead with the other leg. So if you led with right, go to left. Awesome job, we'll sink a little bit lower. Home stretch, three, two, one. We'll stand it up, give the legs a shake. Back to our knee repeaters. We'll start with that right leg. In three, two, one, let's do this. And driving that knee, pulling that weight down strong to meet it, 10 seconds. Thinking a little bit lower in that right leg. Here's three, two, one. Good work. Take a breath. Shake it out. Coming up on that left side. And four, three, two, one. Let's go. And driving that knee nice and strong. Try and belly button towards the spine to brace that core tight. Last five, four, three, two, one, and 10 second rest. We have one more time through. So we are back to push jacks. We get ready here. Three, two, one. Last time with push jacks. We're staying nice and quick, strong press. Straight overhead. Here we go, keep moving. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Woo, no more push jacks. Next one we're gonna knock off is our narrow to wide steps or jumps. Get ready in three, two, one. Let's do this. Either stepping out, stepping back in, or you can go for those. Light hops. By light, I mean landing softly on those feet. Here we go. Last four, three, two, one, and 10 second break. We'll wrap things up with this first round. Knee repeaters, right side first. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. We're staying strong here, staying tough. Continuing to drive that left knee forward and low in that right leg. 
Five seconds. Three, two, one, 10 second break. Shake it out. Last time with knee repeaters and left leg. In three, two, one, let's go. And driving the right knee strong, pulling that weight right down to meet it. Staying low in that left leg. Five seconds. Last three, two, one, and done. Whew. Now we get a one minute break. Yeah, I can grab some water, catch your breath a bit, try to stay upright, maybe take some gentle side steps, maybe just walk around, whatever you're feeling. Good work so far, crew. I'll start talking through our second round, but we still have time, don't worry. So we have same setup, four more exercises. We're gonna begin with a squat and leg curl row combo. So giving the shoulders a slight break here with the presses. So we're gonna take a nice wide stance. As we squat down, we're gonna press the weight out. And as we stand up, we're gonna row and kick that leg up. So again, squat, press, row, squat, press, row. And we're alternating which leg we're bringing up towards the glute. So it's a leg curl, a squat, Press in a row. Good mental challenge here. After that, we have a reverse lunge and torso twist to the right. So you can hold the weight at your chest. We're gonna step back with the right leg into a reverse lunge. And as we hold, we're gonna twist right, center, and step up. So again, lunge, twist, back, and step up. And we are just twisting to the side that we step back with. So we'll start with right, then we have a march and pull down, and then we'll go to the left side with that lunge, twist, and then step back up. So, sound good? That was pretty much perfect timing. We have about 10 seconds left here, so you can start to get ready. Again, we have our squat press out, row, leg curl to kick things off. So we'll begin round two here in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. So we'll squat press in the row. As we curl one leg up, just make sure to switch sides. With our row, we are squeezing the shoulder blades nice and tight. Five seconds. Last three, two, one, good work. 10 second break. Shake it out, reverse lunge, right side with that twist. In three, two, one, here we go. So stepping back, twisting right, center, and step it up. Just twisting out as far as comfortable. We'll try to keep the torso strong, tall, upright. You should feel the core start to fire up here, engage with that twist. Last three, two, one, good work. We'll shake it out. And in between, we have a march and pull down press. We'll begin in three, two, one. Here we go. So we'll pull down as we march that knee up, getting that knee as high as comfortable, working to keep our balance here. Should feel the core activate as we lift that knee. Good work, last three. Two, one, and you can relax. Ooh, we'll get ready for our reverse lunge, left side with that torso twist in four, three, two, one. Here we go. So we'll step it back and twist open to the left, center, step it up. Keeping the torso nice and tall, just twisting as far as comfortable for you. Awesome work. Home stretch, last three, two, one. Good, 10 second break. We're back to the top already with our squat press, row leg curl in three, two, one. Here we go, so we'll press squat, row leg curl. 
Make sure we alternate sides, really focusing on getting that heel up. Bracing that core nice and tight. Last three, two, one, good work. 10 second break here. Shake it out, reverse lunge right side with that twist. In three, two, one, here we go. So we'll step it back, and twist right, center, and step it up. Nice tall posture here, keeping shoulders back. Almost there. Last three, two, one, and relax. We'll shake it out. We have our march and pull down press next. In three, two, one, here we go. So we'll start up, pull down as we march. You can move at your own pace here, just really focusing on driving that knee, keeping that core brace tight by drawing belly button towards the spine. Good, five seconds. In three, two, one, and we'll break. Last up, we have our um, left leg reverse lunge twist. In four, three, two, one, here we go. Stepping back, staying tall as we twist left, center, step it up. Great workout for the low body, getting that core activated. Here we go. Last four, three, two, one. Woo, we have one more round through. Timeshare flies. We'll begin back with our squat and press leg curl row. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. So we'll Squat press, then row, leg curl. Getting as low as comfortable in that squat. Trying to get those heels up. Home stretch, last five, four, three, two, one, and break. Done with those. Next up we have our reverse lunge and twist. In three, two, one, let's do this. Stepping back, twist right, center, and step up. And keeping that chest lifted nice and tall. 10 seconds. Finish out strong. Here's three, two, one, and down with the right side. We have our march and pull down press next. We'll start with weight overhead in three, Two, one, let's do this. Last time with our merch. If the shoulders are feeling it, always an option to drop that weight or move down in weight. Home stretch here. Last four, three, two, one, and no more march and press. You can shake it out. We'll wrap up this round with our Reverse lunge, left side, torso twist in three, two, one. Let's do this. Last time. And keeping the chest tall and proud. Twisting as far as comfortable, 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and you can finish it out, relax. Woo. All right, we'll get a one minute break here. Give the arms a shake, maybe roll the shoulders out. Grab a sip of water. And we will be heading down to the mat or to the ground for the last round here. Woo. All right, so I'm gonna start to talk through our final rounds. You still have some time to catch your breath, grab some water. So we're sitting down the whole time here. We're gonna begin with some cross climbers. So for cr cross climbers, we have two options. Hands are gonna be directly below the shoulders either way. The first option is to slow down, bring knee 
across as far as comfortable, getting a little twist. Option two is to kind of speed it up, bring your knee towards opposite elbow. After that, we have a plank and pull through, so you just need one weight, like everything else. <laughs> we'll lift up to a plank either on the knees as we pull the weight across the body, or you can lift up on the toes. Same thing, just pulling it across, trying to keep it about hip level. And then we have some dead bugs, toe touchers, which will be on our back. And we'll get started here. I'm talking a little over, a little extra break. So we have a little more oomph this last round. All right, with all that said, we're gonna start with cross climbers first. No wait for this one. 20 seconds of work in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So either slowing it down, gentle twist, where we can speed it up. Trying to keep the hips down either way. Keeping the hands right below the shoulders. Here's five, four, three, two, one. And you can relax, 10 seconds. Shake it out, get ready for our plank and pull through. We'll grab one dumbbell in three, two, one. Here we go. So we're pulling it across to the other side alternating arms, of course. You can stay on the knees or lift up on the toes. Home stretch, five seconds. Here's three, two, one, and you can relax. We'll head down on our backs, give us a little extra time here. We will need one weight for dead bugs. For dead bugs, we're going to drop the weight down overhead and drop one leg down, then pull it all up to the center. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And lowering the weight down overhead, pulling up using the core. Inhaling as we lower, exhale as we lift. 10 seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and you can take a 10 second break. We'll stay right here. Toe touchers are next, so legs will be up in the air as we reach our way up towards the toes. In three, two, one, let's do this. Getting shoulder blades off the mat, trying to gaze straight up overhead. 10 seconds. Go keep it up, try to get up a little bit higher. Here's four, three, two, one, and you can relax. We'll roll our way to a seat, flip on over. We're back to cross climbers, slow or quick. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Always an option too, if you wanna hold for a little break, just hold that plank. Focusing on maintaining that good form with hips in line, back nice and flat. Last five seconds. Here's three, two, one, and 10 second break. We'll get ready for our plank and pull through in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And they're holding on the knees as we Pull that weight across, or you can go up on the toes for an extra challenge. Five seconds. Here's three, two, one, and done. Woo. We'll flip on over, going to our dead bug. Give us a little extra time to make our way down. And weight starts straight out in front of the chest. Legs are lifted. We'll begin in four. Three, two, one, let's go. And lowering weight down one leg, make sure to alternate sides. Inhale as we lower, exhale as we lift. We're keeping that back nice and flat on the mat. Home stretch here. Last five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax for 10 seconds. Just take a breath. Woo, going to toe touchers. 
legs back in the air in four, three, two, one. Lifting shoulder blades off the mat and reaching your weight up towards toes. Always remembering to breathe. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Woo. We'll roll our way up. Give us a little extra time here because we have one last round. We're back to cross climbers. So you can flip over. We'll knock these ones off first. Beginning in four, three, two, one. Let's do this. 20 seconds. You can either slow it down, speed it up, or always option to hold that plank nice and strong. 10 seconds to go. Last five, four, three, two, one, and break. You can shake it out for 10 seconds. Start to set up your plank and pull through, grabbing your dumbbell. Begin in three, two, one. Here we go. So that strong plank position, either kneeling or on the toes, pulling that weight across. Working to keep the body as stable as we can. Final 10 seconds. Yeah, we can do this. Here's four, three, two, one, and done. Woo, no more plank things. We'll flip onto our back. Keep your dumbbell. We have our dead bugs next. Roll your way down. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Last time with dead bugs. And inhaling as we lower down. Exhale as we lift strong to the center. Go home stretch. Here's five, four, three, two, one. And you can relax for 10 seconds. Woo. We'll finish up with toe touchers for this round. So we'll start to lift those legs right back up where they were. We'll begin in three, two, one. 20 seconds of work. Last time with toe touchers. Last exercise of this round. Finish out strong here, 10 seconds. Trying to get up a little bit higher if we can. Here's four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Woo, you can roll your way up. Feel free to take a breath. We just have one final fun round, just because. Only one exercise. We will stay on our mats and we don't need any weights. What could it be? It's push ups. <laughs> Spoiler. So I'll talk through here. So we're going to go through three rounds of push ups. It's a lot, but it's okay. It's condensed 20 seconds at a time. So we're going to begin with triceps push ups with the hands close in the center. Then we're going to move to regular push ups with hands about shoulder width. Then we'll wrap things up with wide push-ups with your hands on the edges of your mat or wider than shoulder width if you don't have a mat. So extra fun. Feel free to take some stretches back whenever you need and kind of move at your own pace. So you can do a push-up, stretch it back, really just whatever you need to do to get some quality push-ups. We're not going for quantity, just going for quality. Just a little challenge for you here. So now that we've had some rest, We'll start to get ready. So we're gonna begin with narrow push-ups and hands are gonna be close together in the center, either on the knees or on the toes. We'll begin in three, two, one, 20 seconds here. And trying to keep those elbows pinned in close, lowering down as far as comfortable. We can keep the back nice and flat and core engaged. Inhale down, exhale press. Five seconds. Here's three, two, one. You can stretch it back, 10 second break. Moving slightly outward to shoulder width apart. We'll begin in three, two, one. Shoulder width and on the knees or on the toes. 
focusing on keeping that form nice and strong. So back is flat, core is braced. Last five, four, three, two, one. And we'll stretch it back, take some deep breaths. We just have one round left, just like that. Time flies. Wide push-ups, hands on the edge of your mat. We'll begin in three, two, one. Last 20 seconds. Getting as low as comfortable for you. Inhale down, exhale press. Focus in here, final 10 seconds of work. We can do this. Last five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. You can stretch it back, take some deep breaths. No more push ups. That is the end of our Tabata blast. So, I like about Tabata, it goes by fast. It's short, it's sweet. Spit a bunch of stuff in, minimal time. But we'll stay down on the mat for a little stretch here. We'll start in a seated position, extending the right leg out. Left leg is gonna cross over top. We're gonna give a little pull. Should feel a stretch in the IT band along the side of that left leg. And you should feel a stretch in the right hamstring. Just sit up nice and tall here. Option two, if you wanna just stretch out the neck, you can gently kind of dip the ear down towards either shoulder as far as comfortable. Good, we'll get two more deep breaths. All right, when you're done with your two deep breaths, we'll slowly just uncross the left leg, straighten it out, we'll switch. So right leg is gonna cross over left. We'll give a gentle pull so we feel that stretch along the IT band in the side of that right leg. Sit up tall to feel that stretch in the hamstrings on the left side. We'll just breathe, hang out right here. An option if you wanna stretch the neck, we'll switch it up this time. So we'll do no shakes, gazing from one shoulder to the other. Important to sit up nice and tall here. Just look as far as comfortable, just a gentle stretch, nothing intense. Let's get two more deep breaths. Good. When you're done with your two deep breaths, you can slowly just uncross that right foot. We'll go to a butterfly stretch. So feet together in the center, knees out nice and wide. We'll just press gently on the knees with the elbows as we hinge forward. We'll just get three deep breaths as we hold here. Try to relax the shoulders. Alrighty, whenever you're done with your three deep breaths, we'll slowly just bring ourselves back, make our way to standing however it's comfortable. We give everything a good shake once you make your way up. Woo! Moving to some quad stretches. We'll start with the left leg, option to hang on to something for balance if you need to. Bring that left foot up, give a gentle pull. Should feel a nice stretch along the front of that leg. And if you're feeling okay with it, you can bring that right arm up overhead. Maybe hinge forward slightly. Let's move that stretch more into the hip flexor on that left side. You can find whatever movements feel good. So if you want to roll the hands out, kind of stretch the fingers, roll the wrists. You can play with the arm, move it around. Again, if your balance allows. The two more deep breaths. Uh, and after that second deep breath, we'll release, give everything a good shake and we'll switch sides. So moving to that right leg, same thing here. Option to hang on to something for balance if you need to. Bring that right foot up, gentle pull, nice stretch in the front. And if you'd like, you can bring that left arm overhead and finding whatever movements feel good. Maybe hinging forward a little bit with that quad stretch. Move the arm around. And whatever movements you're feeling right now. Two more deep breaths. And release that foot down. Give everything a good shake. 
We'll wrap things up. My favorite way, wide stance, big overhead stretch. So we'll grab the hands and press them off to the left to start. Just as far as comfortable to feel that stretch through the shoulder all the way down the side body. Get one more deep breath. Good, and we'll bring arms to the center. We'll slowly start to cactus them, pressing the hips forward to a baby back bend. Good, and we'll inhale to reach arms back overhead. We'll clasp the hands together again. We'll bring them over to the right side for that big stretch. And pulling as far as comfortable. Get one more deep breath. Good, and we'll slowly bring the arms back to the center. Release them down, maybe roll the wrists out, shake the hands out, take some shoulder rolls, give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome work with our Tabata Blast and congratulations on finishing out 2020. We had quite the year, but I appreciate everyone hanging with me through all the virtual things we had to do and kind of shifting as we go. But we're excited for 2021, um, hoping things are gonna slowly move back to our usual with some in-person stuff and whatnot, so. Anyway, hope you guys have sweaty hair like I do.